Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Brennan. I was a United States Marine and my job was infantry. From September 2009 to September 2013, I served as an infantryman in the United States Marine Corps. In the Marine Corps for physical fitness, uh, three things is mainly endurance. They do a lot of confidence courses uh, with the rope climbing and jumping over things. And they do uh, the PFT and CFT. PFT is physical fitness test, where in Marine Corps you have to run three miles and do pull-ups and uh, crunches or sit-ups. To have a perfect PFT, you have to have at least 20 pull-ups, 100 crunches, and run a, three miles in like between 18 minutes or so. CFT is combat fitness test. Like MO lifts, a run, and you have to do a uh, maneuver on the fire where you have to run through cones, zigzag, run straight, low crawl, high crawl, throw a grenade in. So yeah, that's uh, it's pretty intense. So that's closest to the superhuman you're gonna get. There is no comparison. But that's a, that's the awesome thing I love about being a Marine. Like one of my old teammates when I was on the Royal Sea team, he was he's a Marine as well. It didn't matter if he was Korean Marine or American Marine. It's that brotherhood, you know. Once a Marine, always a Marine. Rather if you're in Korea or in, uh, you know some other place as a Marine, like if you find out that you guys are Marines, there's gonna be that brotherhood. We're gonna bond automatically. There is no comparison. There is no Korean Marines are better. American Marines are better. No, is there? You were both Marines. There is no who's better Marine, because we're both brothers, you know. Only difference is maybe, you know. Once you become a Marine, there's no more Korean or American or black or white or whatever. This It's just Marine. Maybe the assault rifles are different, and maybe the uh, automatic weapons for squads are different, and maybe the, the actual heavy artillery is different than, mo than most uh, for American military and Korean military. Cause we all have the same title as Marines, but the, the artillery will be different because it's the manufacturers of different countries. So that may be the difference. Ooh, that's a beauty. That's a beauty right there. Oh, that's impressive. But I like it, that is a beauty. That is beautiful. That's American soldier. Wait, where, where is the security? Uh, is it, are, they, are they inside the wire? I think, I think they may be, may be inside the wire. Okay. Oh. Oh. It's actually really impressive. The pros of it is that it does limit casualties. That is a, that is a good thing. We want to keep body. We want to keep our bodies, you know, able in an attack. The cons is, is that if that gets hit, game over. They just lost half of their artillery right there. <sighs> it's a beauty. I like it. Pros is that like if you're able to like if you need to fire it over the wall, the bus sock is collapsible. So that's good. And you're able to carry it or put it in the bag. That's good. The cons are, if the buttstock is collapsible, it covers over certain buttons. So the collapsible buttstock is, is convenient, but then again, if it comes off, then it can definitely be a result in wasting rounds. But I like it. I, I definitely wish I had that. That The Korean weapons, I like, because one, it, it folds down, it's more secure. I think, than the American weapons. So Korean weapons can strap them down and it's good support, right? Doesn't allow it to be bounced. If the weapon is loaded, if it bounces, there is a possible chance for a misfire, which can result in injuries. So that's why I'm more disappointed in the US military because they know the weapons aren't built like Korean weapons. So it is a high likely chance that if the weapon is moving around, the weapon gets switched from safe, from safety to semi, semi-automatic, three round burst. So if the weapon's bouncing around, that gets switched to three round burst. That's one mistake. And if it's bouncing around again, and if it gets caught onto the flak, boom. Bullet hits, ricochets, someone's injured. In the Marines, they teach us point contact with your weapon. So one hand holding. So for the weapon bouncing around like that, the way it was in that, that clip for the Army, US Army at that, I'm really disappointed in that unit. But the Korean weapons, I have no problem because it's snug, it's secure, no, no contact. And that actually is convenience too, so. These are, wait, the U.S. Department of Defense? What kind of, is that, is that approved for in America with Korean and American, American military? And that's actually really nice, because like, I guess the, the way it's designed, it's, it is good for like just manual labor. For ma manual labor, I can see that it is convenient because it, it helps with the decrease of blisters from lifting and shuffling. So those gloves, it is co a convenience. Oh, yeah, that's from Marine Corps. That's, and he's, he's a Lance Corporal. Lance Corporal, those gloves, I hated those gloves when I was in. I remember those gloves. Those gloves were like levery and it was just, it was just really inconvenient and it just, it just hurt, so. It smells like food. <laughs> it's 
smells like, like a type of sausage. I'm torn between either eating this glove or wearing this glove right at this point, so. It's interesting, okay. This is convenient for the manual labor. Like I said, it is convenient. And this here, actually, this will actually protect from blisters coming onto the hand as well, which is good. These are definitely perfect for using for manual labor. Um, the reason why I say they're, they're not good for like using like for firing weapons or anything is if something happens and like, something hot hits, whatever, this here will actually burn into your skin. And it's really, really, really painful. So yeah. These gloves are definitely good for manual labor, and I definitely agree with it. And I think all bridges should switch to it to use these gloves. Uh, you guys have very good uh, weaponry and uh, artillery as well, and other things, and a lot of equipment that is really convenient that they don't really have in America. Keep improving your military with this and influence us to have gear like this. Uh, if you like this video, make sure you comment below. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. I like these gloves.